What's good? Welcome back to another video, another reaction. We back up in this thing. <laughs> what kind of video we at? We we are reacting to. Ten secret <laughs> service tactics that are seen. I don't see how it's saying it is. To be secret service need to be fired sometimes, but that's another day. Yeah, we'll see how they get protected. President getting popped and stuff by the same secret service. Bah! Babe, I got a headache. That was loud as hell. It takes a lot to protect the president of the United yeah, States. Yeah, that was that same day. Here are 10 secret service tactics that are insane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, uh... the Secret Service has the world's largest collection of ink. The Secret Service works in conjunction with ink manufacturers, where they have a massive database of tags in the ink. These tags allow Secret Service agents to narrow down the brand of any type of ink. That's they can also paper. trace where that brand is sold in the country. So, should the president receive a threatening letter, they can trace, to an extent, where that letter may have originated from. They also have a team of handwriting experts that inspect the handwriting of any letter that has a threatening word in it. Number nine, protective intelligence. <laughs> the president is the target of many online comments. Some of these comments suggest a threat to him, but are likely not serious. However, every single threat is investigated by a team of Secret Service agents. When someone posts anything so about wanting life. to cause the president any kind of harm, even if it's only in jest, every single aspect of that person's life is investigated. Friends, employees, neighbors could all be interviewed. This is known as protective intelligence. Look at your and window. it is conducted to deep no, the seriousness like this of the threat. Thing. After an investigation is done, the agents will determine whether or not the person in question should simply be warned, should be submitted for a psychiatric evaluation, <laughs> or should be convicted of a class E felony. Ciao. Number eight, agents are trained to spot guns. Impromptu presidential greetings are a they better be, they better be. agents. Dealing with I want me a top notch agent, man. They're they gonna check me. Someone in the crowd might do. Okay, well. I want me a top notch agent, they're gonna protect me. They needed to All somebody all gotta do, shit. no offense, ain't telling y'all do this. Try to snipe. I mean, it worked on previous presidents. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna spot a sniper. You know they ain't going. As that. such, Secret Service Especially agents are highly trained to look for weaponry within a crowd. They scan for people who have their hands stuffed yeah, in their I've pockets, seen that for people okay. wearing baggy clothing, and even for people who seem to be moving stiffly on one side of their body because they might be concealing a weapon. The Secret Service is famous for their dark sunglasses. But those shades aren't just to shield their eyes from the sun's oh rays. They wear dark glasses so they can hide their eyes while scanning the crowd. This way, any potential Can't tell by body are not alerted to the fact that they are being watched. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Daily Top Subscribe, Channel baby. Subscribe. So you don't miss any of our videos. Number seven, water rescue detail. One of the many perks of being the president is a lifetime of protection. Even after his presidency, the president is promised protection wherever he goes. Now, a lot of retired presidents seek R&R &R in tropical places where swimming and water sports abound. But to ensure That's the president cool. remains safe, that. a specific group of Secret Service agents are put on water rescue today. That must be yeah, You gotta have a lot of people running 24 and active or not, to any place that has water. <clears throat> They are highly trained in any and all of the dangers that water poses. Even after you, President. Number six, CAT agents. CAT agents are the Secret Service's most elite and highly trained agents. They carry SR-16 carbines, That's which are very need. powerful rifles. The process to become a CAT agent is extremely brutal. When someone is selected, they must first undergo a week of preschool. If they make it through that. They graduate to an intensive six week training camp. Cat agents are required to run a mile and a half in nine minutes, to wear a 45 pound vest, and to be highly skilled with weaponry. They must also be very intelligent. During their training, they go through arduous stress tests, and most applicants drop out. Their job. Paul, you supposed to be Secret Service, but a man is holding a weapon walking towards you, and it took you him swinging at you? <laughs> to shoot him? 
Not when he's still swinging the weapon, when you got your pointed weapon. Now he continues to walk toward the lady, but once he takes a swing, like, why didn't you bend handle that? Bow! That's it. Hey, I'm done. You're that was done. a loud bow. My bad. <laughs> that way he's like right here. <laughs> like, but yeah, I don't understand why it took that long for you to. But yeah, as soon as they draw their gun shit, I'm shooting. Like, I see them. This is how they still pop up missing, mm -hmm. even when all the secret service is around. You want it to be like it's such an important thing, you know, high security and stuff, but you let somebody keep come charging towards you with a weapon before you. And once they yeah, swing at now, when they swing at the lady, once they swing at you, then you should be protecting somebody. As soon as you see them draw that shit, you can't even let them lift that shit up. Like, that was that's, a lot of time. Done. In that part, that was so much action. I'm just, I'm just saying, you gotta go through all of that to get certified, all of that stuff. So. I'm like, you done. You sh it. That was like some civilian stuff. Like when a civilian got a gun, they scared to use it or something like that. And they, you know, that's so that was, I wouldn't, no. provide cover that for the if he is under attack. They are trained to engage in direct assault combat to give other agents time to get the president to safety. Number five, the president's motor pool. The president's main mode of transportation is aptly named the Beast. It is a customized Cadillac limousine that has over seven tons of armor. The armor is up to eight inches thick in places and can withstand high caliber gunfire or even an. The unowners know mother. the total freak. I don't get what it is. Explosive device. But the. Okay, I got an issue. If this is a special vehicle for the president, why are you exposing where all the stuff at? Like, <laughs> you giving people a peekaboo as to where all the stuff at. So people can target certain spots <laughs> or avoid certain spots now because you put it out there. <laughs> like, but it's, it's, it's even harder than what you got as a cop besides you too, though. But I'm saying, yeah. like, why put out that much info? Yeah, I mean, you're right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you could have just left that out. So if, even if they Unless tried, they trolling some of this shit. Yeah, even like and so the even if thing. they tried, you could get them with the element of surprise because they thinking it's a regular car, and you could pull out, you know, the stuff. Yeah. Like, why would you put it out there? <laughs> That's just like saying, like, hey, yo, I got ten AKs in my house. Now somebody know that when they come to your house, it's ten guns. Like, yes. <laughs> never alone. The president's motor pool consists of a whole line of vehicles, including a discreet black van that holds the counter assault team, otherwise known as the C-80. In total, there are a dozen vehicles in the president's motor pool, and each vehicle costs over a million dollars. Number four, food screening. When presidential chefs are preparing food for the president, they are under strict scrutiny by Secret Service agents. Every single one of their movements is monitored to ensure that they are not poisoning the president. White House chefs are never alone in the kitchen. Furthermore, when the president travels, Navy stewards travel along with him and personally prepare his food. The president that be not aggravated, food though. that has been gifted to him. And although he sometimes orders food while out and about, he only does it for a photo op, as he never eats anything he orders from a restaurant. God damn. That's made down the cheeseburger. <laughs> System of Russian God damn, I bet. It's expected that Secret Service agents would be highly trained in weaponry and combat. They are, after all, protecting the president. But some Secret Service agents are more damn. highly trained than others. Some are trained in a Russian martial art called Sistema. Sistema stands for the system, and it was originally used by military one. personnel well, like yeah. the KGB. Russia don't play that. Yeah, well, yeah, right. Yeah, right. They, they the mean one. one. It is known for its brutality and its anything goes mentality. Sistema involves controlling yeah, the attacker's the net, weapons, like arms, the net. legs, and elbows. Yeah, the chest with your elbow. It also involves defending Boom. against weapons and weapon disarmament. People trained in Sistema are trained to deal with multiple attackers at the same time. They are also trained to remain very calm while under attack. Sistema is not just a combat tactic, it's a way of life. 
and people who are trained in this uncommon martial yeah, art like are dedicated to the virtue of the martial art. And although someone practicing Sistema appears calm, that's a cool and dude. Control, don't let so chill. <laughs> Sistema is a highly dangerous martial art style. Secret service agents trained in Sistema. I know they were busy when they had to work with Trump. Oh, so somebody stayed Trump. trying to take Trump head yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. No, you go in jail for a while. Secret service team. Every single place that the president goes is first scouted out by the advanced secret service team. This team arrives before the president to do a thorough check of the entire area that the president is visiting. For example, if he is visiting a school, <laughs> the team arrives first and inspects every corner of the school, including the bathroom stalls and inside the classroom cupboards. They will even go to nearby hospitals to obtain a list of anyone in the area that has been recently treated for mental illness and released. They literally leave no stone unturned in their preemptive search of the area. They take over entire hotels. When the president travels, his entourage of Secret Service agents travel with him. Yeah, but whenever he stays in a hotel, yeah. his Secret Service agents conduct a background check on any of the hotel employees well, that might be in contact with the president during his stay. I was glad they let anybody be around. A criminal record, then that employee is asked to stay home from work during the president's visit. Yeah. The team also completely takes over the entire floor the president is staying on, as well as the floor above. That's and understandable. Yeah. And they take over elevators for their own personal use, even going as far as to hire take an elevator stairs. repairman to stay on standby should anything go wrong with the elevator. <laughs> Number one. President stop. Medicine. <laughs> I need somebody president over here now, now, now. <laughs> some kind of medical emergency, there is protocol in place Tyler to increase the chance to survive. What the fuck? A select number of special Secret Service agents are assigned to the Presidential Protection Division, otherwise known as the PPD. These selective agents have the responsibility of protecting the lives of the Commander in Chief and his family. Up. There's a lot of income. They are trained in something How called that shit is. medicine. 10-minute medicine involves doing everything in their power to keep the president alive until he can get help from other So basically, a fourth of U.S. Now money is based on the secret service. The is and there's a bunch of people, a bunch of this, a bunch of that. The 10-minute medicine, in this case, involves some pretty insane protocols. That shit thick is For example, fuck, I know that ain't blood. every time the president travels, the PPD know exactly where the nearest medical facility is within a 10-minute radius. And they even have an agent stationed at that facility. This agent is responsible for becoming familiar with all the doctors and nurses on shift. The PPD is also responsible for ensuring that there are bags of blood in the president's car, which match the president's blood type. Yeah, I just know that much. Just in case an emergency transfusion is needed. The PPD's training in 10-minute medicine proved useful when they saved President Reagan's life during the 1981 assassination attempt. However, it seems like a lot of time and energy to prepare for something that likely will never happen, which is why the PPD's 10-minute medicine and all the protocol involved has earned the top spot on this list of 10 Secret Service tactics that are insane. I guess. Yeah. Get a... Uh, a lot of house. money. The White House, they be having a sniper sit up there. You don't even see him. Unless, uh, something happened. It's That's when is. all of them start popping out. There's so much electronic stuff nowadays. Person don't even need to be on top of a building to shoot you no more. Like, they mm -hmm. literally have drones and everything that just shoot. Yeah, but then they got, they got satellites and shit that watch that. They don't even let drones come near that shit. I believe it's a lot of money. That's what I'm going to say. I ain't going to get into my personal beliefs because half of y'all probably delete my ass. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm you just going to leave that in. I ain't going to agree with you. That's yeah, what I'm saying. It's just say. certain, but, certain uh, levels I don't do it. But anyways. It's a lot of money. I hope y'all like the video. How many secret service people is it? That's probably about 10000 It's a lot. Then you, got, then you got, like, when they fly, they got, like, four jets that's around them. That's what I'm that's saying. That's crazy as fuck. I, I know. Like, that has fuck? to be, like, one-fourth of the American currency. Like, that's 
You got to pay for all of the equipment, all of them people. Most of our tax money is go to them. All that shit. Airplanes, jets, uh, bulletproof cars, Mm -hmm. snipers Mm -hmm. that stays on the roof of the White House. All that shit. Helicopters. And the thing about it, Donald Trump had his own goddamn plane that was like a whole bunch of money. I can't remember how much it was. Three thousand two hundred special agents, one thousand one thousand three hundred uniform division officers, and more than two thousand technical professional and administrative support panel. That's a lot of money. All the guys about six thousand six thousand five hundred workers, and that was as of two thousand nineteen. You know they getting paid. All right, that's it, I guess. But, uh, I hope y'all like the video. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, share the video. And we'll holler at y'all later.